Hello everyone. Welcome to Film, Tech, and Knowledge. Today is storytelling session. I am going to simplify the full story of a movie called The Rock. The Rock is a 1996 American action thriller film directed by Michael Bay, produced by Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer, and written by David Weisberg, Douglas S. Cook, and Mark Rosner. The film stars Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage, and Ed Harris, with William Forsyth and Michael Bean co-starring. Okay, without further delay, let's jump into the story. Brigadier General Francis Hummel is a decorated veteran of the Gulf War, but he has become disillusioned with the U.S. government. He believes that the government has abandoned its soldiers and their families, and he is determined to make it pay. Hummel gathers a group of rogue marines and plans a daring heist. They target a heavily guarded naval weapons depot and steal a stockpile of VX gas-loaded M55 rockets. The next day, Hummel and his men seize control of Alcatraz Island, taking the tourists and guards hostages. Hummel contacts the FBI and the Pentagon, threatening to launch the rockets against San Francisco unless the U.S. government pays him $100 million from a military slush fund, which he will distribute to his men and the families of recon marines who died on covert missions under his command, but whose deaths were not compensated. The Department of Defense and the FBI develop a plan to retake the island using a U.S. Navy SEAL team led by Commander Anderson, the FBI's top chemical weapons specialist, Dr. Stanley Goodspeed, and the only inmate ever to escape Alcatraz, John Mason. FBI Director James Womack bribes Mason with a pardon and Mason reluctantly agrees, but Womack subsequently destroys the pardon and Mason is set up in a hotel. He escapes, resulting in a car chase with good speed through the streets of San Francisco as Mason reunites with his estranged daughter, Jade Angelou. The team successfully infiltrates Alcatraz, but Hummel's men are alerted to their presence and ambush them in a shower room. Anderson and all of the SEALs are killed, leaving only Mason and Goodspeed alive. Goodspeed wants to finish the mission and attempts to strong-arm Mason into helping. Mason, seeing his chance to escape custody, disarms Goodspeed. Mason changes his mind about helping Goodspeed for the safety of his daughter. Mason and Goodspeed eliminate several teams of Marines and disable 12 of the 15 rockets by removing their guidance chips. Hummel threatens to execute a hostage if they do not surrender and return the chips. Mason destroys them before surrendering to Hummel to try reasoning with him and stall for time. Goodspeed disables another rocket but then gets captured. With the incursion team lost, the backup plan is initiated. An airstrike by F-A-18 CS with thermite plasma, which will neutralize the poison gas but also kill everyone on the island. Mason and Goodspeed escape, and Mason explains why he was held prisoner. He was a former British SAS captain and MI6 operative who was captured after stealing a microfilm containing details of the United States' most closely guarded secrets. Knowing he would be suicided if he returned it, he spent the last 30 years imprisoned without trial for refusing to hand it over. When Hummel's deadline for the ransom passes, he is urged by his men to fire a rocket. Although he does, he redirects it to detonate at sea. When confronted by Captains Darrow and Fry, Hummel explains the rocket threat was an elaborate bluff as he had never intended to harm innocent civilians. He declares the mission over and orders the Marines to leave Alcatraz with some hostages and the remaining rocket to cover their retreat while he assumes the blame. Darrow and Fry, realizing they will not be getting paid, mutiny against him. A firefight ensues. Baxter is killed defending Hummel, who is mortally wounded. The general manages to tell Goodspeed where the last rocket is before dying. Darrow and Fry proceed with the plan to fire on San Francisco. 
Goodspeed seeks out the rocket while Mason deals with the remaining Marines. As the jets approach, Goodspeed disables the rocket before killing Darrow and Fry. Though he signals that the threat is over, one jet accidentally drops a bomb and the blast throws Goodspeed into the bay and Mason rescues him. Goodspeed reports a successful mission with no hostage casualties but lies that Mason died during the blast. He admits to Mason that Womack tore up the pardon and offers him a way off the island and where to find cash in his hotel room. Grateful, Mason reveals the location of the microfilm as he and Goodspeed part ways. Sometime later, Goodspeed and his newlywed pregnant wife Carla hastily drive away from a church in Kansas after having retrieved the microfilm. The end. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you found it interesting. See you bye bye until the next video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and press the bell button so you will get notification.